All right, let's watch this one. Let's see if it if something interesting happens. It's quite long. But Polly calls an eco whore now. Good. That's usually how people improve. <laughs> they become eco whores. If you can't eco whore, can you really play the game? Questionable. What's up, Connor? Right, but probably comes Zeon. Esperanto is UEF. Tips a cyber? Mm hmm. What tips would I give specifically for cyber? Don't know. Make use of uh, of T two air, I would say, for corsairs, a bit of gunships, drops into the back, drops into here to this expansion, drops into the back into this expansion, and of course make you know quite a few mantis. Egg, do you have to remind your chat to like or they will forget? That's true. Uh, now, uh, consider them reminded. Make Mantis and Shift-G as ACU. Easy, says Turbo. That's a, that's a decent tip. I'd go along with that. Esperanto is sad about his mass stall. Sorry, his power stall. But Polykov is sad about his dying engineer. It's his second dead engineer. Wait, oh yeah, it is. Two engineers go down to the lab in the back base. That is extremely good lab. Oh, 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 he's getting stuck on the reclaim though. Damn. He got totally messed up by the, the rocks there. And if it didn't have vet, it would already be dead. Because it wouldn't have enough HP. It looks like it will die now. Though, if it doesn't move... Run, run, run. No, it's dead. Finally caught. But did more than... More than enough to be worth it. Oh, these two engineers retreat this one. Front engineer is going to die. There it goes. Second engineer is actually going to survive. The two tanks take it out. The bomber is super slow. It looks like it idled over here for a long time. Now there's an inti. This engineer looks to be doomed unless he moves at the exact right moment. Oh. Almost. Almost an auto dodge there. And the inti is just idle. This, this thing was scouted. This was scouted and was not targeted. Now it goes down. Only gets one kill. Not a very good bomber overall. If you look at the economy, Popolikov's economy is dreadful. 260 power income. 2k mass behind. Meanwhile, Esperanto overflowing some of the mid reclaim. It looks bad, but it could be way worse. He has a T2 Max already, for example. And is making two more. Overflowing more mass now. Because of the reclaim, he's got. F well, he needs. He's got four engineers building power, two building a factory. A couple more factories planned. I think we'll see T2 land before too long. And one factory over here. Where's the transport that brought him there? Oh, it didn't. This engineer built this factory. Both these use fighting in the middle of the map. This engineer reclaiming trees instead of juicy mech marines. 
Actually, are they mech marines? Or are they hunters? Or... They're labs, anyway. Whatever they are. <clears throat> but Polycop has... No T2 maxes. But two... On the way. So many factories so fast. Yes, that is... A very important part of Supreme Commander. <laughs> it's efficiently getting those initial factories up. And T2 land is finished, actually. So, he didn't invest in those other two factories. Just went, built that factory, assisted it to T2 quickly. <laughs> What's a beauty? Unfortunately, you can't... ...host on different platforms. Sadly. Yeah, more facts, more wins indeed. It's uh yeah. Not the not the best looking emote. But Polykov is so far behind. It's really crazy. Not I thought somebody said he was an eco whore. He's only got two, two T2 Mexes. I don't see how this game can goes on for so long, to be honest, because but Polykov looks completely lost already. Like, he has a few more T1 units, obviously, but he's up against T2 land. Three support factories already. At least they've split the islands, but even in that regard, Esperanto took one before Popo got this one how much energy T2 Max cost minus 60 that's what it drains to uh, upgrade He's got 20 T2 units already versus 3 blazes. Range gun is up. Where's the second gun upgrade? Here it comes. Big mastol. And bombers. And mongoose crushing the aurora. Air fight. Both of the microing to a draw by the looks of it. Oh no. Popo stopped. Microing and he lost. That's a lot of bombers. And not many anti air, only two. PD gets some kills. That's a lot of mongoose here, isn't there? And T2 and the gun. T2 PD goes up. He's gonna control this whole area now. ACU is gonna have to retreat away. He's in low HP, under 5k. Why does he go Mongoose instead of Pillars? Because Mongoose outrange the Aurora. And they have the grenades, so they have AoE damage as well, so they can kill. They're really good against Aurora. And that's mainly what Popolikov has. And also, he can make shields for them. I mean, that's not a very good use of them. But, uh, yeah, Mongoose are just a very good unit, especially against Aeon. Uh, thanks for subscribing, Giorgio. Mm, there's not enough TMD here. He's got Aeon TMD, which has a very short range, and he's got one. He's got one, so a TML here would hit this, this, and this. TML here would hit these. Um, this TM TMD really doesn't protect much at all. Even the, the HQ could be TM, TML'd from like here, he could TML the, the HQ. Or from here, he could TML the HQ. That's why you, us you need to build Aeon TMD. This is built to protect the P gens. You need to build Aeon TMD very close to what it's protecting. Whereas with every other faction's TMD, you can just kind of build it in front and it will cover a larger area. You can see. You can't get at the HQ except from this angle. If it was Aeon, you could get at it from 
a much smaller angle unless the TMD is really close to the building Jack asks how many generally how many T2 units does it take to kill a T3 assuming perfect micro well <laughs> Perfect micro from who? Which side is microing perfectly? The T3 unit? Because, um. Hmm, I don't know how to answer that actually. Generally, you just don't want to use T2 units against T3 units, if you can avoid it. But Polycub moving in, he can't win this fight at all. Oh, he's so low on HP. He's going to finish the shield, though. And he's got a shield around his commander to give him a little bit of... God, he dropped so low. And this attack on Esperanto is uh, just a delaying mechanism. This game looks completely over. Is T3 land coming? Yeah, T3 land was do almost done. Like, if you have obsidians, are they ever... How many do you need to get into range of a Percy? You're going to need a lot. Because they're just going to die before they get into range. <clears throat> Thing is, once T2 units get into range of T3 units, they can do some damage. Like, if you get obsidians into range of any T3 unit, they'll do pretty well. The problem is getting into range because a brick or a Percy has way more range so you should never allow an obsidian to get on top of you. With other units it's different like Harbs versus uh, Ilshavol for example. It's e much easier to get into range with Ilshavol but they're still a less efficient unit in terms of just straight up combat. But they're definitely, it's definitely a much more favorable matchup than a Rhino versus a Brick or something like that. Where it's really not even close. The Rhino will just, or the Rhino will just get wrecked by, by the longer range. He's protecting his, I like this, this shows how good the shields are really for Aeon. You have to use the shields in conjunction with the harps because the harps ra uh, the range is not amazing the health is not amazing but the damage output once they get in range is massive like look at this this shield will drop immediately dead and Esperanto is just running away I really don't think he should have given up this position should have made a shield here maybe he gives up the front position but he still has four four PDs that have to be gotten through there's no snipers there's no uh, artillery to take out the PDs so these PDs are still gonna be really effective versus the Harbs and and the ACU unless he leaves and doesn't protect them if you don't protect them they'll die very quickly also this commander should be looking into uh, making the second shield kind of need the heavy shield pretty soon oh my goodness totally missed this attack uh, this was like a couple of bl three blazes and some t1 units that's a that's a drop actually t3 max the second one yeah Esperanto seems to just be dragging this out because He's so far ahead. PDs. Killing Harbs. There go all the PDs. Whoa. This is another advantage of Mongoose. They can actually do damage at the T3 stage. <laughs> when they land their shots. Uh, yeah, if you hold control and right click, you'll do a formation move. It's a waste of a gunship or two. Yeah, control plus right click will um, 
will uh, do a formation move. And well, I there's there's more than one herb dead. Also, I said some damage, not big damage. You'll notice that no mongoose died, so uh, I'd say that's a pretty good trade, UD. And pillars wouldn't have killed anything. And Esperanto continues to retreat with his whole army, even though and uh, just gives up reclaim. It seems I don't know what the story is with that. I don't know what he's trying to do here. He's gonna lose the missile launcher. No, not the missile launcher. It's hard to tell when you're being sarcastic. <laughs> I still think you probably are being sarcastic, actually. Oh! But Polycov just lost two herbs. They almost dropped. And he had total air control as well. Way more inties, and he allowed it to, to be killed. He's not happy. He also could have run in here and killed the Omni, which is a really expensive building. And maybe... Well, certainly the shield as well. So many air. Yeah, it's way too much air. Has NG vet ever been a thing? No, it hasn't, unfortunately. There's a lot of mass left here. How much did he invest in this attack? Killed two T2 Maxes, right? Okay, he killed a Harb, that's a dead Percy. Are those Titans? That's a dead Percy, that's a dead Percy, that's a dead Percy. Not an effective attack. Sparkies have a gun, so they can they can vet from that. But uh, regular engines can't gain veterancy except through mods. T1 bombers coming after T2 Maxes. And they kill none of them. Oh, wait. No, there's actually still some alive. Storages go down at least. That's something. Not to be underestimated. And all the Inties are out of fuel now. <laughs> yeah, this is, a t this is a very boring game. 100k mass ahead. Esperanto's just... Uh, Messing around, really. So, not exactly a close one. I think we'll probably just. Ooh! That's a lot of damage, though. Three and a half thousand mass kills. A piece. Very effective anti air here. This is why you don't make anti air to defend against uh, drops. This is the, the worst UD impression I've ever seen. Two rest SCUs at 33 minutes. It's like he's not even trying. Snipers versus Fatty. Ooh. Hang on. It's really lacking a bit of power. Wow, he's actually losing the he's actually losing the fat boy. Oh, there's some artillery back here. No way. Does he lose it? Percy's might want to retreat a little bit. Oh, the T1 bombers are coming! The T1 bombers are going to come after the fatty. <laughs> but there's ASF. They can't. Can they kill them fast enough? Oh, the crash damage will add a little bit of damage. Oh, one KHP. Snipers aren't in range. Neither is the artillery. 
Fatty survives. Yeah, it looks like there are no land factories whatsoever for Esperanto, so whatever Percy's he has. There's only six. He actually lost almost all of them there, didn't he? Well, a few of them anyway. Oh, he lost the fatty. There they go. Crawling away. He actually lost it to snipers. And uh, now he's just making... What's he making on the commander? Shield? Billy Nuke? No, oh, shield. I thought this was a meme game. He should have made Billy Nuke. That would have been good. That would have been fun. <laughs> Probably I've only noticed now that he killed the fat boy. <laughs> he could have walked forward already. He has still not got the heavy shield. How come people don't do cruiser spam? Uh, it's not usually good in a one versus one. In this game, probably would be good for uh, Esperanto. He's making another fat boy. Looks like it will finish right now, and that'll kill <laughs> probably most of this army, actually. An Aeon army is not very good against a fat boy, because uh, it's so low HP. There's no shields for the snipers. He just suicided all of his army so that the, army, the Aeon army would be slowed down. I wouldn't get in, into range before the fat boy got constructed. So it gets constructed. You can see the snipers just get absolutely wrecked. The harps don't fare much better. Time for another plus 10. I wish he made Ras. Or not Ras, Billy. GC, I think he really should, he, wait, wait a second, does he have any T3 Maxes? He has two, two T3 Maxes, that's all he has. Second fat boy is already built. Esperanto has a small 738 mass income. Zare would unironically win the game, probably. Well, actually, is that enough ASF? Not not if these are around, actually. Zarm would actually win the game, I think. Could easily kill the commander. It's a lot of Ravagers. I would like to see a Maver. Yeah, he'll probably make a satellite, though, by the looks of it. Yeah. <clears throat> Three fat boys. Oh, the GC is dodging. Look at it dodge. Look at him dodge. He's still at like half HP, but he's dodging three fatties pretty well. It's a good attempt. I respect it. He's actually in range of one of the fat boys. He, he, can, he can kill two of the fatties here. Keep dodging though, and don't let your army get killed. Yeah, nice, nice. Turn around, you can keep dodging and kill a second one. Oh no. No, I don't think he's actually gonna do it. It's gonna be close though. Why isn't it shooting? Why isn't it shooting? Shoot you piece of crap. Aeon Trader. He can step on the shield to bring it down. Nice, now step on the fatty. Oh, maybe the death weapon will do it. Goodbye, fat boy. <laughs> oh, now he runs into all the ravagers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Super GC don't shoot, but it does. Body slam. Anti-air. Look at the T1 anti-air pulling its weight. Killing. Just one-tapping all these drones. Beautiful. Denying the fat boy. <laughs> the Novex gets killed before it even goes anywhere. Where is the satellite? I don't see it. A lot of T3 P gens go down. Can he kill any Rassus That's the real question. One of them's low. Oh, 
Oh, air suicide? Fly away, my dude. Fire away. Keep flying. No, no, no. He turned to kill the strap bomber. Now he loses all of his ASF. Despicable. Absolutely despicable. It's a small amount of mass lying around. Let's just zoom out here. 150k. Some strats over here. Don't know what they were doing. I'll kill some T2 maxes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there's the satellite. No, where are you going, you stupid T2 engineer? Or is that even T3? Yeah, it's T3. 8,000 mass and it just floats away. Oh. This game is cancer indeed. More fatties. So boring. Why is he making fatties? There's not even any point to make fatties. There's no there's no units. Increase speed, I think so. Yeah, it's time again to increase the speed. Fatties, so. Blech. Boring. Popolikov only now adding a few more T3 nexus. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. What is he doing? Absolutely nothing. Where's the Tempest? Ooh, yeah. I don't know how far the Tempest could reach from here, actually. But it would certainly crush some fatties. Yeah, we'll look at that game after carry it. Oh, there goes the, the, the artillery. He kind of needed that artillery. I mean, it wouldn't have saved him from two fat boys. But could only have helped. Maybe Popolikov is ready to end the game. He begins walking towards the fatties. Okay, the shields are off. Why are the shields off on the fat boys? Can anyone answer me why the shields are off? Nice overcharge there. And the question marks. Shields are dropping. At least they're actually supposed to be on now. There it pops up. Hey, somebody wanted a Maver. I think I spotted one. Oh, that's a good move order with the fatty. That's a really nice, nice, nice bit of micro there. The longest range land experimental decides to go toe to toe with a load of shielded harps. And the Maver is almost complete. Slow this down. You can see. And it's idle for some reason. Interesting. Still idle. Will this thing ever shoot? the hell? Please shoot. Oof. Right in the face. What's it shooting at, I wonder? You should really just shoot at the commander, I think. That would be the best target. It's a P-Gen. Disappears. Now the reclaim for the P-Gen disappears. <laughs> I don't know, it's probably already gone, actually. Really? You have Maver? <laughs> yeah, he does.
Okay. Yeah, I really wish he made Desire. I think he could legitimately win the game with Desire. Could have. It's a lot of ASF now. I mean, yeah, he still could win the win with Desire, but he's making GCs. Oh, just Desire is all that's needed, really. And he could actually win this terrible game. There's not a single Sam here. Oh wait, no, there's like two, three Sams. He's only just made them. There goes the GC into an absolute wall of PDs. Every P gen will just die. UD, I wanted to watch your game against uh, Empty Noob, but the the replay wasn't on the server. It was missing. He's asking why his Maverick doesn't kill anything when he killed a T3P gen immediately. Oh, there's a Duke. <laughs> it's the total mass in Ravagers. Oh, he just killed them. <laughs> the timing. <laughs> oh well, but now we'll never know. Unless you want to count them and add them up. <clears throat> what a fun game. Where's the commander actually? He was just here. Is he back here somewhere? Where did he go? Okay, the GC's killing everything. Cool. Oh, the Duke is firing at it. Oh, control K, control K, control K. Oh, he could have drawn. He could have drawn if he had killed himself. Oh, no, actually. He wouldn't have done enough damage to the transport. It's continental. Take it back. Continental wouldn't die to the ACU explosion. What's up, Aaron? Um, I don't know. We won't stream too long. It's quite late. Thanks for sending the that replay, Udi. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, it's a clusterfuck. Technically speaking. <laughs> um, when's it going to end? <laughs> What's he upgrading there? <laughs> he made the Billy Nuke. Finally, he made the Billy Nuke. Now he has to walk away so he can fire it. <laughs> he almost died himself. <laughs> well, that was a good end. Not, not the worst end to it. <laughs> That's a nice touch with the Billy Nuke to, to finish it off. Oh, what a silly game. Ugh. GC is still alive, by the way. 
80,000 mass killed.